Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today I'm going to do another calibration video, this time on the 1756 IF8, which is the 8 channel analog input card. Um, these are still lots of them in use, and I purchased three of them from a gentleman, and uh, they all work good, except when I check the one module, uh, it shows that one of the, one of the channels isn't calibrated. Uh, calibration failed. So before I do a calibration and you know get a hold of them let them know I figured I'd do a video on how to do the calibration on the IF-8. Um, I've never done one and it's if you look at my other videos on calibration I think it's going to be exactly the same. So here's the uh, I'll just move around to uh, get the video in place and uh, We'll be right back. So here we are back again. So here's our power supply, our BK uh, Precision that we use in our other video. Uh, our load meters, everything jumper together, so I've got four meters as load. Currently we're set at zero, uh, the knob is turned right down to zero. And on this side here, you can see a jumper from positive to negative which holds everything uh, steady at 0 0.5 volts which is pretty low actually so we're going to say that that's our, our zero reference which is going to be the first thing that the program is going to ask for so we go back here to our screen and as you can see if we zoom in we're going to uh, let's go up a little bit and uh, you can see where we've got an error on channel 1. So we'll start calibration, the same procedure as on the IF-16. It says make sure you're not using it, this in a running system. Well yeah, this is on our test bench. And we're going to calibrate all of the channels together. So we have to be stepping through one at a time, click them and we have all eight channels calibrate in groups as you can see in the bottom here next okay and it says hopefully you can see that attach zero reference which is low reference to the indicated channels and the low reference as requested is zero in this case we're zero point 0, 0.5 which is as close to 0 as we're going to get hit next and it says it's okay next go to the high reference and it wants 10.25 now this is as you noticed in my last one I remove the jumper and I crank it up to This takes me a little bit because this is an older, I, I wish I had a digital, but I don't. 10.1. Okay, 10.250490. And we say next. And everything's okay. So there we are. That's as fast and as hard as it is to uh, calibrate a 1756 IF8 uh, using the procedure in the uh, software. Um, come back anytime, subscribe if you'd like, and uh, hopefully uh, as time goes on I'll add a few more calibrations on different modules and I'm also going to make up a little uh, Group, uh, grouping of uh, calibration videos on the on the YouTube channel for everyone. So thanks a lot. Uh, have a great and wonderful week.